All right, here we go. Uh, we're back. Um, new SCC football dynasty. Home of the new SCC. And we're getting ready to see the big game between the Central Tennessee Owls taking on the Florida A&T Sailfish. So, uh, hey, let's get it on. All right, welcome to uh, Central Tennessee. And here we go with the, with the kickoff. We got the big game here between the uh, Sailfish, uh, Florida A&T, and the Owls. And, uh, hey, this is the game right here. The winner of this game will be the Eastern Division Champions and will play for the Conference Championship. And uh, the loser would just get a decent bowl game, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, hey, we're off to a start here with uh, with uh, Florida A&T. Moving the ball a little bit. That was uh, Cart with the run on that one. That's a gain of five. All right, here we go to in the uh, shotgun set. Two by two, hand off to the running. Oh, and, and uh, he runs over somebody. Who was that? That was uh, March, <laughs> and he ran through some people. We get that uh, first down there. It's first and ten. I do believe that these are two of the best uh, defensive units in the uh, conference this year overall. And uh, whew, that's a nice uh, catch and uh, game for extra yards there. And Yancey on the catch. So Cross coming out throwing, man. <clears throat> anyway, um, yeah, this is one of the better defenses uh, units on both sides. And uh, they play very good uh, special teams, too. In fact, both teams kind of rely on their special team. You know, kick a field goal. Third and one. Keeping the game close and so on and so forth. So, so uh, almost like mirror image of each other. Except one uses the run more, the other uses more passing team. Uh, I'll let you figure out which is which. <laughs> but other than that, I think they have a lot of similarities. So, uh, this is the, the game that everybody been waiting on. Uh, both of them got a loss in the conference. So, uh, hey. So he's close to, uh, see, I didn't know he had that many yards passing across. But it looked like he's uh, close to 2,000. Good now. Full like house, ain't it? Down, oh, got a flag, got a flag. All right, they're running that option again. That oh, was a nice play by Bobby Bass. Bobby Bass on the tower. This is the ninth play of this drive. <laughs> The offense going to try to open this field up coming out. All right, nice. And then two by two. And oh, <laughs> that and uh, crosses down, sacked by Nash Rich. By the defense here, a few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. I mean, you can lose only so far on these defenses, man. They don't be playing. <laughs> All right, after the, the punt and uh, our first time with the ball, and hey, as uh, Parker always do, he's starting off with a uh, hidden Xander West for uh, for the first pass of the game, and the Owls are off and flying. <laughs> 
As Barker dropped back for another, uh, he gonna toss it out here to Gamble. Gamble with the stiff arm. Did you see that stiff arm? That was a mean stiff arm right there. There's been some mean stiff arms in this uh, doing this uh, dynasty. I mean, across the board. <laughs> And Barker trying to run. And right that is not his. Uh, that is not his strong point right there. That's not something that he does well. Okay, second and ten. Waiting on my man to get back in. Lined up. Man in motion. And nice catch. Oh. <clears throat> he couldn't quite get there. That was a uh, uh, elk mutt with the catch. And Barker right now is three for three, 20 yards. That's a good start. And made that four for four. Xander with a catch. And Xander catches a lot of passes during the course of a game. Elkmont, but he's taking a catch of the game. Usually, he don't catch that many passes overall, and usually he don't catch them early. So. But uh, definitely keep your eyes on uh, Micah Knight. He normally get his in the fourth quarter, and he got his first incomplete pass of the game as he just threw that one away. And this is the eighth play of the drive. <clears throat> All right, and I don't think they ran the ball yet. Have they tried to run the ball yet? And he's five for seven. <clears throat> Two uh, incompletes in a row. Uh, that one got knocked down. But got blocked, really. And Marcus tosses this one out and he hits west again but it's only for two yards it's fourth and eight so they had to settle the for a punt and here comes the selfish oh man i thought that was something <laughs> that looked funny but that was barry yancey with the cat and tight end <clears throat> wow that was, uh, that was something. Uh, we got all kinds of fake going on back there. Right the full high. Oh, and another nice catch right there. Titus Clem on the catch for 15 yards. They call him Titus. 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 Two, 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 two out. At about the 47 anyway, McDoolittle with the catch. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Have I even said that name all year long? I knew one where he came from. All right, it's third and four. Nice little toss right there. And it's McDoolittle again. Hey. They must have scraped him off the bottom of the roster or something. I don't remember this guy. One quarter. Now, this <clears> anyway, hey, that's the end of the first quarter. 0-0, zero, zero, and like I said, the defense shows up. Ooh, nice hit right there. Great routes, and that last play was an example and, uh, of that. As a defender, it can be ahead tough a to little match bit. up sometimes. Got a connection right there. And uh, Cross is having a pretty good game. And they balance, though. That's the one thing. Trying to run there. In the fate. And Cross, ooh, powers his way for a first line. Now, <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, all them yards right there is because of a glitch. There ain't no way he will rest for 1,500 <laughs> uh, yards in the season. In, this, in the season. I'm sorry. 
uh, I'm going to figure out just how many yards that glitch gave him and then uh, do some subtract subtracting. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> and out of the eye formation, they're going to give it a march. He's going to get him five yards. Probably could have got more if he wasn't like trying to dance step. <laughs> Doing a dance step. They're at the six. It's second down. Okay. And uh, that's basically an offset eye out of a shotgun. Basically. I'm on like a triple wing. Double wing. Anyway, uh, got caught in the bag for you. It's the 11th play of the drive. And it's now third and eight. And they in that, uh, I call it the run and shoot formation. They call it the flex ball. So. And hey, Titus with the catch for the touchdown. Shoot, he's wide open too. That was a nice catch though. That was a real nice catch. Alright, now, uh, hey, Matthew Knight with an early catch. And he gets his first catch of the game. <clears throat> uh, shoot. And now they in the shotgun. Ooh, look like a blitz was coming. And, uh, I don't think they want to blitz anymore. Xander West with a 12 yard catch, and, hey, the numbers starting to pile up there, uh, Xander. And now we drop it back. Nice catch right there. Oh, man. Did you see that? The collision, the spin move, the extra yards. I'm telling you, Gamble, man, this, this kid is something else. Nice play by Marks. Next time, try to hold on to the ball, son. You might get you an interception. All right, now they run in the screen, and uh, Gamble almost got got away from him there, almost. And he got four catches for thirty-four yards. Not bad for a running back coming out the backfield and all. But um, the Owls are going to settle for a field goal, <clears throat> and it's now seven to three. So I was just wanting to get on the board. <clears throat> and, uh, after the uh, kickoff and everything, we got an incomplete by uh, by uh, Cross. And uh, he's dropping back, dropping back, and he's throwing deep. Oh, and he hit uh, Titus again. The game of 21. Um, Titus is starting to get some numbers here. 9 for 11. Nine for 11. Uh, for Cross. <clears throat> And uh, we got a sack there. And Tennessee is putting it to Kentucky. <laughs> and who is the catch right there? That was uh, Dante's sister, gain of six. Got his first catch of the game. And they're moving the ball. <laughs> well, both teams actually move the ball well. They just it's finishing the drive. Oh, what a hit. My, oh, <laughs> March is down. March is down. Bring on April. Watch this. Woo-hoo. And that, I do believe that was Wes Arbin. Wes Arbin be hitting. And uh, Bo Jefferson with his second catch of the game. They're about four yards away. We've been kind of quiet so far. I mean, it's weird how. Oh, whoa! Interception. Whoa! Oh, man, did you see that? Did you see that? I said, my man, watch this. Man, they 
McCole with the interception and the, and the run back for the score or the touchdown. But watch the the guys trying to stop him. Look here, he gets the interception. And then look, this guy takes out his own guy. Man. Oh, man, that's messed up. I mean, he takes out his own. Whew. Man, that was that was that was mean. All right, we're down to a minute twenty-eight left in the uh, half. It's now fourteen to three. And the way both these teams play defense, that's what you would call a commanding lead. <laughs> and with these two defenses, the Bark is still trying to lead that charge here, and West with another catch. I give him five for 33. A lot of catches, not a lot of yards. But that's <clears throat> that's not how they play. That's their game. Whoa! Ooh-wee. What a collision that was. And it's ticking away. Ticking away. Shotgun for me. I mean, did these guys even attempt to run? Oh, Je Jefferson with another catch. But <clears throat> I don't think... I don't think they even attempted to run the ball so far. And we got an incomplete there. Barker. And... Uh, oh, Mississippi State. Where's the egg bowl? The old egg bowl. We are, you know, we got the new egg bowl. Gulfport College versus Mississippi Tech. That's the new egg bowl. <laughs> because it's the new SEC. Anyway, <clears throat> what a play right here by uh, uh, Cross. And Mickey Under with the catch. And he got two catches. That's his second catch. And he got 54 yards. So, uh, hey, they are throwing it. They're running it. They're doing it all. From the 13-yard line, first down. 32 seconds left. Our formation. The handoff. Oh, man, if he didn't do that stutter step. He started hitting outside. He should have just kept inside. But he was able to get one yard, but he could have got mm, three to four, maybe five. And now Cross drops back, and he hits Clem for a five-yard reception. That's his fourth catch. So Cross is 15 for 17, 175 yards. He's going to try to run, but he's going to get sacked. Lost at five. And that's Jeff Johnson on the tackle. <clears throat> and hey, the AI, 14, boy, I tell you, they should have kicked the field goal. So it's 14 to 3 going to the half so far. Like I said, it's been defense. It would have been 7 to 3 if so, if it uh, wasn't for the pick six. And Barker come out in the second half and incomplete. As they head to the locker rooms, this one is far from over. 14 3. Oh, I don't know what happened there, but second down. And oh, and Barker sacked. These guys can be aggressive. You stand back hit by Middleton, and that was his first tackle of the game. And hey, it was a big one. That was what you call a textbook tackle right there. Look at that. Head on the ball. <laughs> Drive to him, get him completely off his foot. Yeah, that's how he's supposed to do it. Now they're going to try to run the screen here with Gamble. Gamble got the uh, form. He was able to get four yards out of it. And it is 12. It is a four from 12. So after the punt, here comes a cross. Slide. Normally, he don't slide. But, hey, you know I only want to win this game. I guess he want to make it to the title game. <laughs> Injury free. <laughs> Injury free. 
Alright, third and one, they run an option and whoa, cutting the backfield. By say uh say sir sage sage sir sir sage sir sir see us there. Alright. And uh now the owls got the ball again and it's back to West. Six for thirty-nine. Averages six point five yards a catch. Got trips over here. And I don't know if he tossed too low game with this. I think this is third catch. Three for twenty-two. Seven point three yards per catch. Trips over there. And, oh, and we almost had another pick six. Chills. Hey, that was a touchdown right there. He, he knocked down. All right, after the, the putt. And we got an incomplete right here by uh, Cross. Man can hold on to the ball. That is Teak knocked out. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. We got trips over here. And he hits, I think that's a tight end, uh, Dante's sister, gain of eight, uh, how much is that? Ah, I missed it. He got two catches for 18 yards. End of discussion. Uh, we're going to hand off here, and ooh, defense showed up, and that was Michael Dean on the tackle. But they're going to give it to the fullback, Mark Cart. And he's going to get a first down. He got four carries so far. 23 yards. And the current drive is nine plays in. And, you know, these teams, they like having the ball. You know, they like long drives. And Jeff Johnson gets his second sack of the game. Jeff Johnson. That's not like somebody, that's not like a name that would be on like, like Sanford and Son or, the, or uh, the Jefferson, you know. So down and 13 yards to go. It's looking like the total yards. So, hey, it's looking like a complete game right now that uh, Selfish is dominating. Now he's scrambling. He's the quarterback, and he's, and he's going to get six yards. Yard he's now third and eight. Uh, them rushes 17 and yards. The so. play of the drive. And hey, they close. Clock is ticking away. And they caught him in the backfield. And as lost, uh, six smart blocker with the tackle. We believe he's an outside linebacker. And he just couldn't get around him. So I can't get around it. <laughs> and Self is going to settle for a field goal. And they miss. <laughs> wow. We got a missed you know, uh, like field goal to check. They did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This All right. So the quarterback going to drop back, and he's going to hit Gamble. For a game of seven. And for Barker, he's just notched a new school record for single season passing. He's taken and that's the end of the third quarter. And now he's got this great achievement to show for it. All we got was a uh, missed field goal. <laughs> so the defenses are still playing well. And the playing well. Playing great. <laughs> got a floater, got a floater. Incomplete. Barker usually don't float them like that. So they only ran the ball six times, and that's probably when the quarterback tried to run instead of set calls, like plays like that. And that's children with his second set. This guy mm -hmm. putting up some really good pressure. The selfish really came to play. And we are in the fourth quarter, man.
All right, Barker drops back. He's looking. He's throwing deep in the end zone. Intercepted. It's intercepted. He said, excuse me, I didn't mean to intercept. But. And he was going for West in the end zone, too. Wow. All right, so. They definitely want to eat some clock. So they line up in the out formation. Mark's going to get two yards. He got 11 rushes for 30 yards. 2.7. West Auburn with five tackles. Offset eye. And he's going to toss it right here. And oh, and he gets the first down. And keep the clock rolling. That was uh, Yancey. Very Yancey. Tight end. Oh. And he almost had the sack, but they'll take the interception instead. <laughs> ah, and the Owls are still in this baby with 337. May with a mace cover. His last name is Cover. Well, with a name like Cover, you don't want to throw the ball in his direction. <laughs> uh, you see what happens. All right, Barker drops back, and he's looking deep. And he's throwing it, and it's incomplete. He is 23 for 35. Needed that catch, man. And just, well, he had, he was like triple cover, man. He just threw the ball the right there. there. For a better result as they threw a pick so, on their last possession. Anytime you give the ball after a fail dry, the uh, sure selfish gets it back, and they're gonna run the ball with March and expect March to get the ball the rest of the game <laughs> with 216 left. At least that's what I would do. Definitely make the uh, the Owls use up all their timeouts. And there we go. Oh, oh. And Cross can only get a yard. It is third and three. 2-11. And he drops back. He throws. And he got the first down. Oh, did you see that punch in the mouth? By Dante's sister. And that's their last timeout. And we're going to cut, cut it there because uh, they run the clock out. And, hey, that's the ball game. So, Florida a and Selfish will be playing in the new SEC Conference Championship game. And they'll be taking on Louisiana a and l So, uh, at the when we move on to the end of the, uh, this game week, we're going to do a quick review before we get to that game. But, hey, we still got game three through six left. So, hey, thanks for uh, watching. We'll see you next time. Till then, you have a good one.